Well, hello everybody, it is I, the Cynical Shiny, bringing you today some Pokemon trading card game. Now, this is an old game. This is a game that I played when I was growing up, so you know it's pretty old. See, 1998? Yeah, I would have been, uh, 16 at the time, so yeah. This is a pretty old game, but it's a very fun game, so I'm gonna play it and let you guys decide for yourselves, and we're gonna see how it goes, everybody. This is gonna be kind of a new series, hopefully, so, uh, we'll see how it goes with this first video. It'll be just a kind of a, basically like the tutorial battle, showing us how to play and everything, but we'll get into it right now, so let's go. Hit start. Uh, okay, I already have a game started, but I'm gonna start a new game. Because I care about you guys that much. Save data already exists. If you continue, you will lose all of the cards you have collected. Okay, to delete the data? Yes. All data was deleted. Okay, so my name is going to be a name that I have started to use quite a lot. Let's see, will I actually be able to fit it in there? I think I might be able to. I think you all know where I'm going with this. Yeah, alright. Toxun. Nice. End. Toxun is crazy about Pokemon and Pokemon card collecting. One day, Toxun heard a rumor. The legendary Pokemon cards, the extremely rare and powerful cards held by Pokemon trading card games' greatest players. The Grand Masters are searching for one to inherit the legend. Dreaming of inheriting the legendary Pokemon cards, Toxun visited the Pokemon card researcher, Dr. Mason. And we are going to Doc Mason Laboratory. Let's go. And we're going to run right up to Mason. And I'm not going to do the narration because my voice sucks, but I'm just going to kind of point out things here and there, and I'm just going to let you guys read it as long as you go. I'm just going to kind of... Hit the button and let it go, and I'll talk over, you know, I'll talk as I go, but as we go. But anyway, here we are. So, we're just meeting Dr. Mason, and he's like, What, you want to learn how to play Pokemon trading card game? It's like, well, yes. Yes, I do. So, awesome. Yes, sir. Yes. Cool. Nice. So, uh, Sam's our first, gonna be our first opponent. He's the guy that's gonna play against us as Dr. Mason tells us how to play the game, because it's gonna be like a hand-holding experience. This is especially good for people that have no idea how to play the actual card game, because this is based on the actual card game with actual cards. So, but this basically tells you how to play the game, and as you go and get better cards and, like, more complex cards, you'll be able to figure out your own strategies and everything as you play. So, it's a fun game, and we're gonna see how we do. So, let's go ahead and get this first battle out of the way. Alright, do we want to ask about anything? No, I'm just gonna have him just kinda... He'll tell us all this stuff as we play this first duel. So, um... Yeah, we should just get into it. Nothing to ask. Is that all? Yes. They say that actions speak louder than words, so let's play a game. Since this is your first time, let's try to learn the basic steps. I'll be coaching you, so follow my advice. If you don't do as I say, you won't be able to proceed. Okay, so yeah. Uh-huh. Instruction booklet. <laughs> They're like, get out your booklet and do homework while we play this video game. Nah, I don't think so. I th it basically gives you a good enough explanation of the rules and how to play the game in this first battle as it is, as you'll see. So, Tech Sam. Sam's practice deck is what we're playing against. Since this is just practice, do not shuffle the deck. Usually you would shuffle the deck right now, but as he says, since this is practice, we will not shuffle the deck. Each player will draw seven cards. Okay, see? Like I said, he's telling you the rules. Choose a basic Pokemon to place in the arena. Okay, so who do we got? We drew seven cards. Okay, that's the first step. Then get ready for the battle. Choose your active Pokemon. That's the basic Pokemon that they said that we choose. Okay, so who do we have? You can only choose basic Pokemon as your active Pokemon. So basic Pokemon are basically like pre-evolved Pokemon. Or Pokemon that don't evolve. 
to like, you know, either a Goldeen or Staryu like I have right now, so... He tells us to go pick Goldeen, so we're gonna go ahead and pick Goldeen and play Goldeen. Goldeen level 12, the levels don't really matter too much. And it says you can pick up to five basic Pokemon to place on the bench. And we are going to... Yeah, yeah, okay. Only basic Pokemon can be placed on your bench. We're gonna choose Staryu. Alright, so Staryu. There we go. Yeah. Press the B button to finish. Alright, I think we're good, so... Placing the prizes. You play for prizes each duel, usually uh, depending on who you're playing against and like what strength they are. The prizes range from like uh, three to six, possibly, I believe. Uh, maybe more at the end game, but right now we're only playing for two prizes. So you only have to beat two of his Pokemon, knock out two of his Pokemon to win this game. Well, it'll tell you. Okay, so basically you flip a coin to decide who's going to play first, usually. And if it's heads, you play first. What we're going to do? It's heads! Yeah! Alright! We play first. It's my turn. We're going to draw a card. I drew a water energy. Alright, to use the attack command, you need to attach energy cards to your Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Choose cards from the menu and select a water energy card. Okay. Choose your active Pokemon, Goldeen, and press the A button. And choose the Water Energy card to be attached to Goldeen. Finally, attack your opponent by selecting the Attack Command. Choose Attack from the menu and select Horn Attack. Now let's play the game. Alright. Playing the game. Let's see, we gotta do Hand. We gotta go Water Energy. Play on Goldeen. Okay. And then we're gonna attack with Horn Attack. Yeah, gave him 10 damage, or 1 pip. Nice, now it's his turn. He's gonna draw a card. He's gonna attach a fighting energy to that Machamp. Or Machop. Sorry. Machamp is its uh, fully evolved form, I believe. Yes. Because it goes Machop, Machamp. No, Machop, Machoke, Machamp. And I call myself a Pokemon fan. Toxun's turn. Okay, let's go. I drew another water energy, great. So we're gonna evolve the Goldeen, we're gonna show you how to evolve now. So basically, uh... Okay, yeah, let's see. Your Sea King doesn't have enough energy to use waterfall, you need to attach a Psychic Energy to Sea King. That means energy... A uh, star symbol means any energy card, which means it's like, uh, if you see a star... That means you can put, like, anything on it to use an ability. Like, you'll have to have, like, a... Usually the, uh, type of, of uh... The type of Pokemon your uh, card is, is the type of energy you use for an attack, and then sometimes it'll have like a little uh, star, meaning colorless or any energy. Which there is colorless energy in this game, but that's something that we'll get into later. Alright, so we need to put the... we need to evolve our Sea King, uh, attach the Psychic Energy to it, and then choose... Uh, hit it with Waterfall. Alright, so we need to go to Hand. Go down to Sea King, hit OK, play. Yes. Goldeen evolved into Sea King, nice. Now we need to go back to hand. And then we need to play the Psychic Energy on the Sea King. Alright, now we can attack it with Waterfall. And take 30 points of damage off of it, or 3 pips. You're almost done, Machomp. Alright, so he put a Rattata level 9 on his bench, so that means that if we knock out his Machop, then he's gonna have a Pokemon ready to go, since he's already attaching energy to it. And he's gonna hit us with Low Kick again and take off another 20 damage. We still have 3 pips left, so we're still doing okay. Alright, we're gonna draw a card, and I drew another Water Energy. See, he's got enough energy, so you don't need to attach anymore. Attach energy cards to your bench Pokemon to get them ready for battle. Attach water energy to your spin star you, okay? Select the attack command. I'll chop his horn attack will be enough. To, okay, we'll hit it with horn attack and then we'll do that. Yes. Uh-huh. Yes. 
Awesome. Alright, so you know what it said. We need to put a water energy on our star you. Okay. Then we need to hit it with horn attack. Bam. Done. Goodbye. We will draw a prize. Let's just pick one. Oh, water energy. Hooray. A Rattata level 9. We're going to take out that Rattata. Uh-oh. He evolved into Eradicate. We're in trouble. You attach light energy to it. Uh-oh. That means it can use a... Uh, bite. Uh-oh. Bite's going to hurt. Ow. Bite hurt. Oh, bite's going to take us out next turn. We do a drowsy. Alright, so that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to attach a water energy card to Drowsy, get it ready for the attack. Choose your active Sea King and attack your opponent with Waterfall. Okay. So that's our three steps. Let's put that... Oh, let's put that Drowsy on the bench. Let's put a water energy on it. And then let's hit Raditate with Waterfall. Alright. So it only has three pips left, but we only got one, and he's going to take us out right now. Yep, he just attached another lightning energy to his card. So he's preparing for something big. Either that or he can't do anything else. It's either or. But he knocked us out, so he's going to draw a prize, so it's coming down to the wire here, folks. Alright, so we need to select a Pokemon. Select a bench Pokemon to replace your knockout Pokemon. Okay, you now have Drowsy and Staryu. Choose Staryu as your active Pokemon for this practice duel. Press Select to check Pokemon data. It is important to know your cards and the status of your Pokemon. Now let's play the game. Alright, so let's do this. And then we're going to hit... Actually, hold on. Ah. Ah. Back. Boom. We're going to place that on there. Then we're going to draw a card. We drew the potion. Staryu evolves into Starmie. Let's get Staryu ready to use Starmie attack command when it evolves into Starmie. Choose the water energy card from your hand and attach it to Staryu, okay? Attack your opponent with Staryu slap. Now let's play the game. Alright, awesome. And then we gotta hit it with slap. All right. What do you got for us, Sam? Uh-oh, he placed a Machomp. But that's all right. If we knock out this uh, Raditate... Uh-oh, he switched out. That's a thing you can do. He switched out. And he's going to hit us with Low Kick. Ow, that hurt. One more of those and we're down. All right. Cool. That doesn't help us any. Now, recover Star you with a trainer card. Okay, so we're going to use that potion that we just got. And let's get ready to evolve it to Star Me. So let's do that. And then, okay. So we're going to use the potion to heal it. We're going to attach another water energy to it. And we're just going to attack it with Slap. There we go. Use potion. Nice. Alright, and then we're going to attach another water energy to it. Bam. Okay. And then we're going to slap it. Nice. Hooray. Alright, Sam. What do you got for us? Oh, no. That's no good. Alright, good thing we healed that star you because if we had enough, that would have took us out and he would have won. But this is a practice duel, so we don't have to really worry about that. So, uh Alright, so we got the star me that we needed to evolve this thing and win this battle. You've finally drawn a star me card. Choose star me from your hand and use it to evolve star you. You've already attached enough energy to use star freeze. Attack your opponent with star me star freeze. Now let's play the game. Alright, so you know what he you know what he said to do. Let's do it. Sabams. And then... Shabangs. 
Paralysis check. He's gonna be paralyzed. Not that it matters. Oh wait, actually it does, because it only does 20. I thought it did 30, but that's alright, because he's paralyzed and he can't attack next turn. He can draw cards and he can still attach energy and stuff, but uh, he cannot attack. The only thing he can do is just end his turn. And between turns, he will be healed of paralysis. So that means he does, he'll be able to attack next turn if he gets a next turn, which he will not. Because this match is pretty much over. Let's finish the battle. Attach, attack with Starmie Star Freeze. You've knocked out your opponent. Pick up the last prize. Toxon is the winner. Now let's play the game. Isn't it funny how he tells you basically how the match is going to go and like what's going to happen at the end of it? <laughs> I think that's pretty funny, but hey, whatever. This is a tutorial battle. It's supposed to tell you how the game is played, so... Alright, so let's see. Is he going to be paralyzed again? Yes, he is. But it's not going to matter because he's going to be dead. Goodbye, Machop. You did well. We will draw a prize. Not that it matters. Another water energy. Woohoo. We took all the prizes. Decision? We are the winner! Toxon wins! Fatality. No, I'm just kidding. Alright, so we won the, that's basically how the Pokemon trading card game is played. It's a game in which you try to knock out as many of your opponent's Pokemon as there are prizes. That's the gist of it. If you don't understand something, talk to Sam. It might be useful to practice again, too. This time it's just practice, so I had you follow everything I said. But there are other styles of play. So try them out by choosing Normal Duel. Now then, let's build your deck. Did you bring your cards? Toxon handed his cards to Dr. Mason. Hmm, let me add some of my own cards to yours. Now, Toxon, what kind of deck do you want? Alright, big decision time, folks. Select the deck you want. Do we want Charmander and Friends? Do we want Squirtle and Friends? Or do we want Bulbasaur and Friends? Um. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna go with the decision that I always gone with when de when dis deciding <laughs> if I could speak correctly. It's kind of late here, guys. Sorry. Uh, this is just a spur of the moment thing, but I figured it'd be fun. But anyway, um. Uh, I've decided that I'm going to go with the Squirtle and Friends deck, because I always go with a Squirtle when I pick from the original three starters, because Squirtle's my favorite and Blastoise is a beast. So, that's what I'm going to go with. Yes. Here are the remaining cards. Nice. We received 30 cards. You should deal with many different people. Why don't you go to one of the card clubs? There are many people playing at the clubs. Collect new cards and try building a new deck. Alright. So, we are ready to begin our journey into the Pokemon trading card game world. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it. And I really hope that you all enjoy this little trip down Nostalgia Lane with me. Especially for me, because it's so awesome. Hey, let's check out this PC before we go. Okay. Let's see. Read mail. Oh, I got new mail. Toxin, it's me, Dr. Mason. Are you getting the hang of the Pokemon trading card game? I have some information for you about booster packs. If you want to collect the same cards, duel the same person many times to get a particular booster pack. By doing so, you will be able to collect the same cards, making it easier for you to build your deck. Another method for collecting cards is to do card pop. When you and a friend use card pop, you will each receive a new card. Once you pop with a certain friend, you will be able to pop. With that friend again, so find many friends who own the Pokemon trading card game for Game Boy and card pop with them to get new cards. Okay, here's something for you. A booster pack! Hooray! The Coliseum pack. what we get? what we get? Alright, we got Computer Search, which... That is, uh, discard two of the other cards from your hand in order to search your deck for any card and put it into your hand. 
Oh, that's really good. That's really gonna be really handy, actually. Awesome. And we got another Sea King. Okay, so we already know what a Sea King is. A Nita Reno, which is uh, the evolution of a Nita Ran male. It's got double kick and horn drill. It's really powerful, but takes a lot of energy to get to. Uh, Eradicate, which we saw Eradicate, but I'll just check it to show you. See, it's got Bite and Super Fang. Uh, oh, Mag Magnetite. Nice. It's got Thunder Wave and Self Destruct. Okay, well, that could be a good basic Pokemon for us. Oh, a Charmander. We've got a Charmander, so we didn't even need to get the Charmander pack. We already have a Charmander. That's awesome. Oh, and an Abra, too? Nice. And a Machomp. A Ponyta. Some Fire Energy. Nice. Provides one Fire Energy. A Ponyta's got Smash Kick and Flame Tail. Okay, just basic attacks. Da da da. It's got stuff on each of them. It's got Low Kick. This one's got Psy Shock, which can uh, paralyze an opponent if you get the coin flip. And, you know, tells you a little few things about it. And uh, Charmander's got a Scratch and Ember. And to use Ember, you gotta uh, discard the fire energy that you use to use it, actually. So the more fire energy you have on Charmander, the more times you're actually able to use Ember. So that's interesting. I'll be sending you useful information by email. I'll also attach a booster pack for you, so check your mail often. Mason Laboratory. That's awesome. Dr. Mason. Winky face. Aw, oh, thank you, Dr. Mason. Alright, that was awesome. That was a good way to end this episode. So, well, and my cats are getting restless, so I probably should get going anyway. So, I'm going to take off here. So, thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. And, uh... You know, till next time, I'm the Cynical Shiny, and uh, we will see you back here in the world of the Pokemon trading card game. Till then, guys, we'll see you around. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.